to viewers greetings in this present video we are going to see about the collection of various clinical specimens like uh, blood cerebrospinal fluid sputum urine stool throat swab hair nail skin ear and eyes now first we will discuss about uh, collection of blood whole blood is required for the bacteriological examination Serum separated from the blood is used for serological techniques. Uh, skin antiseptics is extremely important at the time of uh, collection of uh, samples. It includes uh, tinctures of iodine 1 to 2 percentage, povidone iodine 10 percentage and chlorhexidine 0.5 percentage in 70 percentage alcohol or the ideal agents. However, some individuals may be hypersensitive to iodine present in some of this and collect the blood during the early stage of the disease since the number of bacteria in blood is higher in the acute and early stage of the diseases. Collect blood during paroxysm of fever uh, since the large number of bacteria is higher at high temperature in patient with fever. Paroxysm means a sudden recurrence of symptoms during the fever. In the absence of antibiotic administration, 99% culture positivity can be seen in the blood and small children usually have a higher number of bacteria in their blood as compared to the adults and hence less quantity of blood is needed to be collected from the small children. The next is collection of cerebrospinal fluid. In short form it is called as CSF. Examination of cerebrospinal fluid is an essential step in the diagnosis of any patients with an evidence of meningeal irritation or affected cerebrum. Almost a 3 to 10 ml of cerebrospinal fluid is collected and part of it used for biochemical, immunological and microscopic examination and remaining for bacteriological examination or fungal examination. I collect the cerebrospinal fluid before the antimicrobial therapy is started and collect the cerebrospinal fluid in a screw capped tube uh, which, uh, which is a sterile container and do not in an injection vial with a cotton plug. After collecting the cerebrospinal fluid, uh, do not delay in the transport and laboratory investigations. Uh, transport in a transport medium if delay in processing is unavoidable. Uh, cerebrospinal fluid is a precious specimen uh, so handle it carefully and economically and it may not be possible to get a repeat specimen again. Uh, perform the physical inspection immediately after the collection of cerebrospinal fluid and indicate the findings on the laboratory requestation form. If delay in processing happen means kindly store the sample at 37 degree Celsius. This table shows the appearance and interpretation of the cerebrospinal fluid collected from patients. In normal condition, the cerebrospinal fluid is clear and colorless and the appearance of cerebrospinal fluid in a clear form and Tyndall effect shows the high protein content and the clear yellowish appearance of the cerebrospinal fluid shows old hemolysis, turbid blood stained appearance shows fresh hemolysis, a clear red appearance shows hemorrhage and the turbid white appearance of cerebrospinal fluid shows high protein or high cell content and uh, turbid clot in the, in the cerebrospinal fluid after overnight storage shows the fibrin clots. Next is collection of sputum samples. A sputum is processed in the laboratory for etiological investigation of bacterial and fungal infection of the lower respiratory tract. Etiological investigation means investigation of the cause of diseases. The collection of uh, sputum sample is of utmost importance in the diagnosis of pulmonary tuberculosis which is why caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis. And during the sputum collection, uh, give the patient an additional container with laboratory serial number written on it uh, for an early morning specimen. At the time of sputum collection, explain to the patient to rinse uh, his or her mouth with the plain water before bringing up the sputum. Uh, give the patient a sputum container with the laboratory serial number written on it. Uh, select a good white mouth sputum container for sputum collection which is preferably disposable uh, made of uh, clear thin plastic, unbreakable and leak proof material. 
and before the collection of the sputum specimen uh, show the patient how to open and close the container and explain the importance of not rubbing off the number written on the side of the container uh, instruct the patient to inhale deeply two to three times uh, cough off deeply from the chest and spit in the sputum container by bringing it closer to the mouth make sure the sputum sample is of good quality a good sputum sample is uh, thick prolent and uh, sufficient in amount that is about 2 to 3 ml in um, uh, volume next is collection of urine samples under normal circumstances urine is sterile in nature the lower part of the urethra and the genitalia are normally colonized by bacteria uh, many of which may also uh, cause the urinary tract infection uh, since urine is a good growth medium for all the sorts of bacteria proper and aseptic collection assumes a greater importance for this uh, specimen uh, for microbiological examination uh, urine must be collected as a clean catch midstream specimen and urine specimen should be transported to the laboratory within one hour for the bacteriological examination uh, because of the continuous growth of bacteria in vitro uh, thus altering the actual concentration of the organisms in the urine sample and next is uh, collection of uh, stool samples uh, fecal specimens uh, for the etiological diagnosis of acute infectious uh, diarrhea uh, should be collected in the early stage of illness and prior to the treatment with antimicrobials uh, collect the stool specimen during the early phase of the disease and as far as possible before the administration of the antimicrobial agents and 1 to 2 grams quantity of the stool sample is sufficient for the microbiological analysis and during the sample collection the fecal specimen should not be contaminated with the urine uh, do not the uh, do not collect the stool sample from the bed pan and the modified carry and blayer medium is recommended as a good transport medium for the transport of collected uh, stool specimen and it is a very stable medium and can be stored for use in uh, screw cap containers and it is a semi solid transport medium the next collection of throat swab samples uh, while collecting the throat swab samples uh, depress the tongue with a tongue blade uh, swab the inflammated area of the throat pharynx or tonsils with the sterile swab and taking care to collect the pus or piece of membrane and finally transport the collected sample in a sterile transport tube and next is collection of hair samples uh, for the collection of hair sample, uh, pluck out hair by the root with the sterile forceps. Uh, choose hairs that are broken and scaly in nature. Uh, place the specimen in a sterile petri dish for processing. And finally, uh, transport the sample to the lab for the further microbiological analysis. And next, uh, collection of infected nail sample. Uh, before the collection of the infected nail sample, uh, clean the nail with 70% alcohol. Uh, with the sterile blade, uh, scrape away and then dispose of the outer layer of the nail. The scrape bits of the inner infected nail into the sterile petri dish and transport to the microbiology laboratory for the further analysis. And next, collection of infected uh, skin samples. Uh, while collecting the skin sample, uh, clean it with 70% uh, alcohol to remove the surface contaminants. If ringworm is present, uh, scrape the outer portion of the red ring with a sterile scalpel. If there is no ring, uh, scrape the area that looks most infected. Uh, place the strappings into the sterile petri dish and transport to the microbiology laboratory for the further analysis. And next, collection of air infection samples. Uh, use moistened swab to remove any debris or crust from the air canal. Obtain sample by firmly rotating swab in outer canal and refrigerate the specimen for transport and deliver the sample to the lab within 48 hours for the further analysis. Uh, finally, a collection of sample from the patient with eye infection. Uh, use moistened swab to remove the material from the eye conjunctiva. Obtain eye sample by firmly rotating swab in eye conjunctiva. Uh, refrigerate the sample for transportation and deliver to the lab within 48 hours for the further microbiological analysis. Dear participants and dear viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you.